morning, everybody. I uh, want to come on this morning, um, and I just want to make a video about the assassination attempt when it comes to President Trump yesterday. And, um, you know, kind of just woke up, and I was just thinking about it, about how grateful I think, I mean, whether you like the guy or not, I think everybody should be glad that that wasn't a kill shot yesterday. Um, and I'll explain a little bit, but, you know, yeah, well, I got so much to, to, to just say that I just want to kind of put out there, you know. You know, before World War I started, there was an assassination of this political figure in France. I forgot his name. But that was the catalyst that kind of like started like this big uproar in France. And then it kind of spilled over all the way into a world war. When Dr. King got assassinated, um, it sparked riots all over America. Every single state uh, had riots and things burning and they had to send a National Guard out because everybody was so upset. They had to do something. Even when it came to George Floyd, when he died, it, it, it set up you know, a chain reaction that went all across the world on that viral video. Um, what am I saying is like there, there, there are these cultural things, these cultural moments that when that happens, it spills over to something even bigger. And I think yesterday, July 13th, would have been one of those days. Whether you like the guy or not, um, if he if he would have died, if that would have been a kill shot, I think it would have been one of those things where the whole country would have turned upside down. The whole country would have ripped itself apart. It could have affected you know things globally. Um, and I'm just speaking on a point when it came to world events. If you study history, just look at that yourself. I'm not even talking about the political thing. I know a lot of people don't agree when it comes to political, and that's fine. But I'm just saying that if that would have been a kill shot yesterday, then July 13th would have been a day that probably would have went down in history. I'm in Pennsylvania right now. I'm not in the same city that where the attempt assassination took place. But I'm in Pennsylvania. I would have had to start making my way home uh, because I don't know what would have happened when it came to people. See, sometimes people are on edge and they're holding back against this beast of anger or rage or whatever. And they and if something would have happened like that, I think that would have been the dam that would have broken in most people's uh, life. And they would have get, uh gave full vent to their anger. I'm talking about innocent people who got hurt. Innocent people would have died. Um, innocent people would have, I mean, looting, riots. Because you got to understand, a lot of people think that President Trump only has, like, um, support from just the people who live in, you know, hillbillies or, you know, the snaggletooth people. No, there's a lot of people from all different cultures that, um, respect this man and I know everybody don't agree politically but um, there's a lot of people from all backgrounds that that, uh, that like him and if something would have happened to him I think what you would have seen is something worse than you know all the all those different rights because of, because of his influence in today's culture it would have snowballed. And one thing I thought about is, um, speaking of cultural events, you know, the people that assassinated Dr. King, at that time, in that culture, there was a certain, there were people who had a certain spirit that wanted to see him dead. The segregationists, people that wanted to keep they, things going, they had a certain spirit of hate that spilled over into rage that wanted to see him assassinated. So when he, when they got him, Dr. King speaking, they kind of like rejoiced. But the whole country uh, went on, on fire. And my point is the same spirit that was in some of those segregationists are in the lives of people today where you want to see him, you know, dead and buried and assassinated. I don't agree with Biden. But I don't want to see him assassinated. I don't agree with a lot of things politically. 
but I still don't want to see those guys not go home to their families or see their kids or their grandkids or their husbands or their wives or, you know, no, I don't agree with them, but does that mean they need to, they deserve to get assassinated though? Um, and some Christians out there, I get, there are some people who have a form of godliness. They would say, yeah, and they are gleeful. And I think that's kind of more of the, um, part that's disappointing. It's hurtful, but it's disappoint. It's more disappointing than anything because at least we in the body of Christ should be agreeing on what did the Bible say? The Bible, what did the Bible say? The Bible says, do not gloat over your enemy when he falls. It talks about how, you know, pray for those that curse you. You know, it, there's all these different things that Jesus would say, but our modern day Christianity has thrown, and not all of us, but a lot of us who I see that are tongue talking, prophesying people, when it comes to something like this, they throw the Bible out the window. And again, you may not agree with him politically, then just don't listen to him. But to see that some of our people in the body of Christ will rejoice over this and make jokes about it lets us know how far we are in our Christian walk in society. And I think today, you know, waking up this morning, and I was just thinking about it. Yesterday could have been a really, really bad day. It could have been civil unrest, National Guard coming in, martial law. It could have been a lot of different things that could have happened. We're waking up today and everybody's kind of like, you know, going about their day, doing everything as business as usual. And thank God for that. But I think we in America, and maybe even the world, has dodged a bullet. That could have been one of those cultural events like JFK, MLK, um, all of these different things. It could have been on that level. And I don't think we really recognize what could have happened yesterday. I don't think we could have recognized that, you know, even the people that's gleeful, that yeah, or the people that think, oh, he, he faked this thing, he faked it. I don't think anybody in their right mind would fake that. Um, for political things. No, that was a real bullet. And if you slow down the video, you will see how he was talking and he moved his head just like this. He does that. When he talks, he kind of does his head like that. So he moved his head just at the moment when the bullet hit. Right there. It's almost like God was moving his head. Because if he would have stayed like that, it would have been a kill shot. But he just moved his head and he grazed his ear. And I just think that that would have been one of those moments that uh, if we weren't careful, the country would have tore itself apart. I know a lot of people don't like him, but there's a lot of people who do like him. And it's not a color thing, a cultural background thing. It's just that some people just view this thing a certain way and some people don't in terms of just policies. But if you take the politics aside, people would have used that as an excuse to give full vent to their anger whether you on an innocent side or not, people would have, it would have become just more tribal. We're already tribal now in the, in the United States, but it would become more tribal, more of a clan, this person against that person. And I think also it kind of opens the door to even more attempt assassinations on any political figure. This is where we're at now. So I know people downplay it like, oh, it wasn't all that bad. But if it was your family member or if it was somebody who you knew, you probably wouldn't see it that way. I just think that, you know, we should be grateful that it wasn't a kill shot. I think that's what I, that's what I think. I think that we should, again, whether you like him or not, you ought to be glad that nothing fatal happened to this guy because things would have been so bad that you would have wished that it would just a graze on his ear. But um, I don't know. I would say let's we have to we have to pray. We really do have to come together. You know, not just the body of Christ, but just people in general. We gotta come together. And people say he's the cause of it. I don't believe that. I believe it's hate in people's hearts that's the cause of this because 
don't know. You just say what, what you want. But I guess I'm saying it's because I just kind of just seen what could have happened. And again, I study history a lot. And that was one of those moments that would have ignited all types of rage all over the country. And make no mistake, it would have been worse than you thought if that if something would have happened to him. So anyway, um, thank God. Hold your family close. You know, thank God it's just business as usual. I'm out here and everything is just fine. But it could have been a whole nother day. So um, love you guys. I'll talk to you later.